enjoyment of tonight's programs.
Please remain standing and join me in welcoming Tom Moore honor graduates Abby Walker, Garrett Heath, and Riley Griffin. The Civil Air Patrol will be presenting our colors this evening. Please join me for the pledge to the United States flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the pledge to the Texas state flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one in the Missouri. If you would, please bow your hands and pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we are blessed to be able to gather here today and thank you for the safe travels of friends and families who could attend. Today, we are celebrating a step forward into new places and beginnings, but let us not forget how we got here. We are blessed to have a school with a safe, open learning environment that has given us a foundation to succeed. Teachers who have done nothing but love and care for students because they know we can be successful. Coaches who care for their participants and push them to their full potential our families who have supported us along this journey. And especially, Lord, we thank you for the classmates we have shared this journey with, for all the laughter and tears we've shared, and for our lifelong friendships. I pray you'll be with every graduate as we move forward in your path, Lord, and be with all of the administrators tonight as we conduct this graduation ceremony. In Christ we pray, amen. Please be seated. Good job, Tom. Thank you. 
Good evening. I am Justin Frick from Principal Tom Moore High School. On behalf of the graduates, they would like to recognize some honored guests this evening. Dr. Bobby Tipman, Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Ms. Mindy Kerr, Assistant Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Dr. Holly Lambert, Director of Special Programs and Testing. Assistant Principal. Ms. Lisa Arledge, the High School Counselor. And the graduates asked me that you work for either my student as a teacher or as a parent or support services. If you could please stand up at this time and be right now.
proud of yourself and enjoy this feeling and remember it. And you need to also remember that you didn't do it alone. You and I need to take a moment to thank all the faculty, staff, friends, family, neighbors, community members that are sitting in the stands this evening because without them, you and I both wouldn't be here today. And it's probably a big relief for them because you might start paying for your own bills. <laughs> it's been 27 years since I graduated from high school. 27 years and I can't tell you one thing I remember about that evening. Not at all. And I definitely don't remember who the commencement speaker was. So I'm not at all fooled into thinking you will even remember me tomorrow. But considering this reality, the best thing I can hope to do this evening is keep it very simple. Maybe, you know, yeah, I'll keep it to an hour. It's not even nine or ten minutes. Because truly the most important thing for you tonight is to walk across the stage and receive your diploma. At this moment, your future is unwritten and the pen is in your hand. Although very little of my advice is proven by anything other than my experience, I can give you some food for thought in writing the next chapter. So here it goes. Learn to make a very good chocolate pie. <laughs> Enjoy the power of your youth. Don't play it safe. I'm sorry, parents. But take risks, because right now, you can afford to take it. If you can dream it, you can do it. Just make sure to share your dreams with the right people. Show up. Show up every day. Because life is way too short to miss one moment. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Words are weapons, so be mindful of how you use them. Floss. It's important. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Use your body. Don't be afraid of it, and don't worry about what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you will ever own. But remember to be nice to your knees and your back, because you'll miss them when they're gone. <laughs> Sing out loud. Hope will follow. You will fail. You're going to lose, and you're going to suck at something. It's an epic. Don't ever quit. But know your limits. And you will understand the difference when you need to. Life is not a straight path, so find joy in the journey. But remember, don't burn bridges along the way that you may need to get back home. Be humble and kind. Do one thing every day that you have never done before. Push your own limits. Remember compliments that you receive and forget the insults. And if you figure out how to do that, let me know. Take the back roads with the windows down every chance you get. Girls, if you want to be treated like a lady, you need to behave like one. Boys, you need to be the gentleman that deserve it. Your character will not be judged by how you celebrate a victory, but it will be by how you suffer a defeat. Don't confuse movement with progress. You can run all day long in one place and never get anywhere. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Never miss a good chance to shut up. Wear sunscreen. Hard work works. It's what successful people do. And remember, it's not easy to be poor either. The world is small. Don't gossip. I encourage each of you to travel. Spend one year in New York City, but leave before it makes you hard. Spend another year in Northern California and leave before it makes you soft. Wear your seatbelt and for goodness sake, use your blinker. Make good choices. The power of choice is the single most important force that will control the quality of your life. Laugh every day. Be a dishwasher at some point in your life. 
and always be nice to the wait staff. Learn to dance and find a partner that you can enjoy dancing with for the rest of your life. I did, and today's his birthday. Happy birthday. Forgive yourself and forgive others. Don't allow your circumstances to define you. I know this is probably an old one, but it's worth saying. Remember that your life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. Drama is wonderful on the stage, in a book, and on a screen. Leave it there. Eat your vegetables. Remember that relationships are like bank accounts. If you keep withdrawing and don't make regular deposits, at some point that account won't be value of value to you or anyone else. Don't waste time on jealousy. Many of us today spend a lot of time studying other people, more so than we do ourselves. I would challenge each of you over the next year to spend an hour a day with yourself. No phones, no media, no distractions, just you. Pray and say thank you. Leave it how you found it, or better, and always take time to do the right thing. Don't worry about what other people think of you. However, no matter how good the hand soap smells in the bathroom, you should never walk out sniffing your fingers. Invest in your mind. It will repay you with interest every day. You all have the opportunity to be successful. Ingram and this community, this community has given it to you. But the world needs some of you to be great. Success is of value to you, but greatness is of value to others. Accept certain truths in this life. Prices will rise. Politicians will lie, you too will get old. And when you do, you need to remember that you thought prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children always respected their elders. You need to always respect your elders. And I will leave you with two bits of advice that I have tried to use to govern my life every day. They were given to me by my grandma. Strive to live your life every day so that you, everyone that you meet should be better off for having known you. And the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So learn to make a darn good chocolate. to the graduating class would like to give you a small party. Our salute toward this evening is Ms. McKenna Wood. She participated in UIL social studies, copy editing, ready writing, and was a state qualifier in the curriculum. McKay will be attending Florida Atlantic University. She will be in the Wilkes Honor College pursuing a degree in economics. Her plan is to become a financial advisor for low-income families. Mr. and Ms. Wood, would you please stand and be recognized at this time? I'd like to begin 
thinking, but thinking all of you here. Parents, guardians, family, friends, and my band over there, hi y'all. But most especially, all of HRISD's wonderful staff. From our, from our elementary school teachers, who taught us to read and write, to the janitorial staff who cleaned up our messes, where we were involved. Many people aided us on our journey to this stage, and to all of them, I'm extending gratitude from the class of 2022. Without the amazing staff at Ingram, many of our accomplishments and achievements simply would not have been possible. If my words aren't pleasant enough to the hard work of our educators, the first thing I did when writing this speech was put in the time to be wrote that was very 12.5. A theme of thought is heard throughout our voyage, continuity and perseverance. It seems that no matter what life has thrown at us, we got up, continued, persevered. From the uncertainty of COVID, the dangers of the snow snowpocalypse, the horrors of Zoom classes, and an almost complete change in coaching staff, the class of 2022 has endured many hardships, and yet, here we are. Amidst all of the chaos, our baseball team and volleyball team made playoffs. Various FFA and UIL teams advanced to state contests. Our one to play advanced to Bond District, and our concert ensemble received a superior rating, all of this in this year alone. Not only has Tom Moore afforded us the opportunity to learn under amazing instructors and graduate honors, but several of us graduated college with associate students. I've had the privilege of not only watching, but participating in the growth of Tom Moore class of 2022. From, square, from scared freshmen, bumbling sophomores, and unsure juniors, to the confident young adults you see before you today. In the process of writing this speech, I, I asked several seniors what they believe we've accomplished through our years at ITM. And everyone had similar responses. A resounding, not much. And I believed them. Until I talked to our teachers. The excitement for the next two years at ITM is palpable. Our senior class has paved the way to an exciting future. In two years, our marching band is on track to advance the state. Our UIL academics department is planning to send more people to regionals than ever before. And our football team is aiming for players. Famed artist Vincent Van Gogh once said, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. And I firmly believe that is what we have accomplished, not just here, not just today, but throughout all four years at Amor Tomo. Each achievement has brought to light how wonderful and deserving our programs and teachers and students are. And even though we have sown seeds in the garden, we may not see them. We're leaving Tom Moore a better place than we found him. And that is something to be proud of. On behalf of Tom Moore High School, it is our pleasure to present Michaela with the 2022 Salutatory Award. Toward this evening is Miss Living Temple. <laughs> Living is the daughter of Bobby and Monica Templeton. She has attended here since fourth grade. Living has participated in many clubs and organizations in her high school career. She was a three year member of both National Honor Society and Student Council. Living is a four year member of FFA where she served as the president this year, her senior year. And she comp competed in multiple career and leadership development events. She has also competed in multiple UIL academic events, including headline writing, and current events, in which she is a two-time state medalist along with the rest of the team. University of Texas, and in the fall, pursuing a degree in communication science. Mr. and Ms. Timothy, would you please stand and be recognized at this time? I didn't really understand 
conversation until a couple of weeks ago. Only then would it finally hit me that these would be my last few days in high school. I hope I speak for all of us when I say that this year, while taxing, has brought some of the most rewarding experiences I could have ever imagined. It's bittersweet knowing that today is probably the last time we all be together again. I've been given the opportunity to meet some of my favorite friends, and for that I would forever be grateful. It's been such a gratifying experience watching my class stick together throughout the challenging yet exciting times. We banded together to argue with Coach Mulkey and lost our voices during every pep round. I still remember how excited everyone was when we won the Spirit Stick our freshman year. We've complained about the same projects, tests, and deadlines for four years and been each other's greatest support when someone needed help. I know that because of these experiences and many more moments we've shared as a class, we are beyond prepared for what the future holds, whether we're together or not. In 2018, if you were to have asked any one of us what our plans for the future were, I'm sure most of our answers would be completely different from what they are today. It's safe to say that our high school experience shaped our lives and goals in a way that is so unique to our class. It gave us a chance to unveil not only more about ourselves, but about the type of legacy that we wanted to leave on our school as a class. It was challenging, as all great things are, but I wouldn't have any other way. Looking towards the future, I understand that there are many different paths each one of us can take. We may seek opportunities outside of Ingram, stay here, attend college next fall, join the workforce, or like many of us, still be completely undecided on the future. Nevertheless, I know that our time together has taught us lessons that will aid us in making a lasting impact on all aspects of our future endeavors just as they did in high school. From the class of 2022, I want to thank all of the teachers, staff, administrators, and mentors that have done everything they can to teach us not only about math, English, science, and history, but about preparation for life after high school. You have shown us unwavering patience and support for all of our crazy schedules, senior ideas, ridiculous jokes, and maybe some of our ideas in the corner as well. I think some of our fondest memories over the past four years have come from laughing along with our teachers in the classroom. Whether it's poking fun at how collectively bad we did on a test in Mr. McCormick's, listening to one of Mrs. Reed's crazy stories about the things she's had to do with the matrix, or completely messing up on labs in Mr. Kennedy's class and having to start from scratch. The teachers we've had at IT have been some of the most influential people in my life, and I hope that they can say the same about our class. I would also like to thank all of the parents, siblings, grandparents, other family members, and friends that have been our support systems throughout not only high school, but our entire lives. I know that we don't say thank you enough for all you do and all you have done leading up to this moment. So since we haven't said it enough before, we're saying it now. Last, but certainly not least, I want to thank you, the class of 2022. I truly believe that we have left our mark on Ingram Tomorrow High School. I know that today, even after going all of our separate ways, we will be remembered for years to come for all that we've accomplished together. We've dedicated countless hours to all of our activities and schoolwork and left everything we had both inside and outside of the classroom. We found success across all of our activities, whether it's sports, FFA, band, theater, or academics. We put all of our passion into these things and our legacy will last for Although these activities have come to an end, the skills we've acquired will benefit us whether we choose to do it. In no way am I qualified to give you life advice, but if there's something I think all of us have had to learn over the past four years, it's to take life how it comes, not how it's supposed to be. So to the senior class of 2022, let's get out there and show the world who we are, what we've learned, and where we're going. I hope our paths cross again in the future, this time with new and exciting stories to I am so proud of you.
Christian Van Rock, would you please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, you may notice we have students wearing various colored towards tonight. You will also notice that we have one student, only one, wearing the red, white, and blue cord. This cord designates that upon graduation, Christian is signed and is fully committed to serve our nation in the United States Air Force. Chloe Megan Tim. 
Singleton. On the Para 
Francisco José Espinosa. Taylor Brian Ferguson.
Malitska Perez on the ground. Marisa Perez Luna on the ground.
Moore graduating class of 2022, I would like to say thank you. Our gratitude goes out to the countless friends, family, and faculty members who have provided us with endless support and guidance. We would not be here able to celebrate our high school achievements without your valuable contributions to our education and well-being. With that being said, today marks the end of our time at Ingram Tom Moore, Tom Moore High School, a place that we will commemorate and cherish for the rest of our lives. The encounter this campus has given us has provided us with an abundance of truly priceless memories that this ceremony has allowed us to reflect on. And to my classmates, life is precious. Going forward from this place, shall we never forget the various and tremendous ways our classmates and teachers have impacted us. As we may never be gathered in the same room like this ever again, make sure to appreciate these last moments together. A quote from a quote that you may be familiar with from Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You'll Go seems more fitting in these very moments than I think it ever has. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Please enjoy the rest of your evening and have a safe trip home. Libby Templeton, Michaela Wood, Abby Walker, Tyler Williams, Ashley Harvard, and Annika Topper will stand at this time. These six young ladies are the first associate degree obtaining graduating cohort from St. Philip College for Tom Moore High School. They received their associate degree diploma last Friday night in San Antonio. Let's congratulate them.
After the school song, we invite family and friends to join their graduates to celebrate this joyous time with them.